We are back. Hawkinson Swim and Dive. It is Saturday, December 15th. This is Kevin Legassi. Along with Roger Jonigan on camera. How we doing, Raj? Doing okay. We got on. Excellent. Thank you. And tonight, it is another Tri Valley League meet. This is Hopkinton versus Medfield. Hopkinton started the season with a home opener, a solid win against Norton a couple of nights ago. For those of you who tuned in, Hopkinton looked pretty strong. And uh, tonight they'll have another test in the TVL. This will be against Medfield. Uh, Medfield a much deeper team than Norton. And we are ready to start. We're going to start with the 200 medley relay. Lane two for Hopkinton, that's Grace Cavanaugh, Allison Fu, Abby Fisher, Ansley Worrell. Center pool, that's Blake Briner, Sam Cody, Adisha Duda, Cassie White. And up top, that's Ray Lucas. Kevin Gu, Kayla McGann, and Kaylee Cohane, and we are off. December 15th, Hopkinton Medfield in lane two. Getting out to a quick lead, that's Grace Cavanaugh up top in the center of the pool, Blake Briner. And in lane six, that's Ray Lucas on the turn. Grace Cavanaugh being chased by Blake Briner. Hopkinton 1-2 right now, Cavanaugh. Reiner, and up top, that's Ray Lucas fighting for third. Hopkinton putting the next swimmer in. Allison Fu in lane two, Sam Cody. This is the breaststroke. Kevin Gu up top as Hopkinton goes 1-2 right now with Fu and Cody. Gu in lane six trying to hold on to fifth. Sam Cody takes a turn, as does Allison Fu, the Fu fighter. That's man bun, Sam Cody in lane four. He's getting ready to turn it over to Adichie Duda for the fly and Abby Fisher. As uh, Medfield closes a little bit, Adichie Duda in for the fly. And that's Abby Fisher in for the fly. Hopkinton still stays one, two. Medfield is three and four and five. Adichie Duda holding on to a three body length lead as Medfield is starting to close. That's Abby Fisher being closed by, but holding in the water now up top is Cassie White in the freestyle leg. Fisher hands off to Ansley Worrell. Worrell trying to hold on to two, fighting Medfield. This is gonna be tight. Hopkinton's gonna win easily with Cassie White in lane four. That's Ansley Worrell just being overcome by Medfield. Hopkinton will go first up top, Cassie White. Center of the pool. And then that is Medfield taking second. Hopkinton will take third. Hopkinton up top in the pool. That is Kaylee Cohane. She was preceded by Kayla McCann. Let's see if we have a second heat. We will, we'll have a second heat for the 200 medley relay. So Hopkins goes one and three. Medfield takes second. We're gonna put another heat out there. In uh, lane two, that's gonna be Pierce Farrell, Mia Carboni, Kate Legassi, Tori Fisher. Lane four is gonna be Yiming Feng, Deidre Belger, Sophia Luce, Leah Patrick. And up top in lane six, that's Fletch, the Clet, the Catch Clark. Fletcher Clark, Sierra Schlussel, Ryan DeLeva, and Breesis Boniker, Beatrice Boniker. It looks like Medfield's got a fair amount of depth. They're going to put a team out there. They're going to put several teams out there. They, Hopkinson swimming in lanes two, four, and six. Medfield swimming in one, three, and five. Second heat of the 200 medley relay. Scoring for tonight on the relays. They will score for the first three places. First place, eight points. Second place, four points. Third place, third place will take, uh, third place takes uh, two points on the relays. 
and then for um, for the regular races, the individual races, first place takes six points, second place four, third three, fourth two, fifth place one point. So the first five places will score. Same for the diving as well. As I said, uh, Hopkinton won against Norton on uh, Wednesday uh, Wednesday evening. A handy win. Um, Hopkinton looked good. They're going to be challenged tonight by Medfield. Heat number two. Backstroke leg, Pierce Farrell in lane two, Yuming Fang in lane four, Fletch the catch Clark up in lane six, and that is Fletch Clark out there taking an early lead. Followed closely by the midfield swimmer in lane five. Fletch on his turn. First to turn, also lane four, Yuming Fang in lane two, that is Pierce Farrell. Fletch the catch up top in lane six closely by Medfield and also closing is Yiming Fang. He's going to turn it over to Mia Carboni. That's her going in in lane six, Dia Belger. And then that is uh, Pierce Farrell turning it over to Mia Carboni in lane two for the breaststroke. Up top that is Sierra Swissel. And that is uh, Deidre Belger in lane two, Mia Carboni. The fly will follow after this. Here Passy crowd here tonight at Keith Tech. Taking over in lane four, the Deirdre Belger, followed closely by Sierra Slussel. Mia Carboni in lane two, closing it up. Up top, that is Ryan DeLeva, Sophia Luce in lane two, going in for the flies, Kate Legassi. Up top, that is center of the pool, Sophia Luce. Top. It's supposed to, that's Ryan DeLeva. So we got DeLeva, loose. Kate Legassi, lane two, closing in on Medfield in lane five. Touching first, Sophia Loose turns over to Leah Patrick. Ryan DeLeva will touch over to Beatrice Monitor. Kate Legassi has overcome Medfield, and she will turn it over to Tori Fisher. Center of the pool, lane four, Leah Patrick. An easy win in the second heat up top. That is tour, that is uh, Beatrice Bonitor. And then lean two after a nice swim by Kate Legassi on the fly. Tori Fisher. Hopkinton will go one, two, three. That's Leah Patrick, center of the pool. Beatrice Bonnaker touches in lane six, and that is Tori Fisher. Hopkinton with a one, two, three. Nice swims. We're going to get ready for the 200 free next. Medfield touches. How's everything up there, Raj? Working? A uh, little touchy or not? Yeah, I was trying to. Uh, camera problems a little bit. Yeah. No zoom? No zoom. No zoom. Means All right. Zoom is manual. All right, manual zoom. Raj making do up there on the camera. Yes, a little bit of manual zoom. So second year head coach, Jeff Libby, bringing the Hillers in after a nice second place finish in the TVL and a, a very uh, 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 solid win in the TVL league meet. They had lost the actual TVL championship, but had a great showing in the league meet. They lost to Ashland. Hopkinton will be swimming Ashland uh, early in the season. That will be uh, the 23rd. That'll be a week from tonight. So that'd be nothing to do before the holidays on the 22nd. Now we get the 200 free. Closest to us, Zach Holbrow, center of the pool, Alyssa Fisher, and then up top, Holly Burns. And they are off clean start. Eight lanes of the pool wall, freestyle. Holbrow, Fisher, center of the pool. Up top, that is Holly Burns. The 200 free on the turn, Alyssa Fisher. 
overtakes the midfield swimmer. Same thing, Zach Holbrow in second place. Fisher Holbrow, 1-2 as they take the turn at the 50. Medfield challenging in third place right now. Fisher, center of the pool, first place. Holbrow in second place, battling for fifth place right now is Holly Burns in lane six. Fisher starts to open up her lead a little bit. She's got a half a body length lead on Holbrow. In addition to a full body length lead on on the weight on uh, Medfield. Alyssa Fisher with a great turn. Zach Holbrow, lane two. Fisher, Holbrow, up top, Holly Burns fighting for fourth place. Alyssa Fisher in the center of the pool. She's gonna cruise, Holbrow's gonna challenge. Fisher, a whole brow as they take the turn for the last 50. Up top, that's Holly Burns. She's moved herself into fourth position with a really strong swim. Whole brow now takes the lead on the final turn. He's going to cruise to a half a length lead. Zach Holbrow in lane two. Melissa Fisher in lane four. And up top, Holly Burns has moved herself into fourth position. Big points for Hopkinton. That's a one-two. That is big early on in this meet. And Holly Fisher is going to take fourth place after an incredible swim. Moved herself from a tie for, for fifth place into fourth position. Phenomenal swim. So Fisher, Holbrow take one, two. Burns takes fourth for Hopkinton. Medfield takes second and fifth. Good swimming early, Raj. Everyone looks good. We'll try to get a couple of unofficial times on some of these swims. We're going to move into the 200 IM. In lane two, the Foo Fighter, Allison Foo. Then we're going to have Tyler Holbrow, Zach's uh, younger brother. And then uh, Stephanie uh, Kapalis. Missing from the lineup, in case you haven't seen him, El Dolfino, Captain Colin. Colin Tyne. Young man had some stitches. He's been out of the pool for a few days. Hoping to get him back for the Ashland meet. It'll be somebody that's uh, going to be important for the Ashland meet. You can see Colin in street clothes over there next to Coach Terry and Coach Libby. The teams really could use him right now. But uh, get his stitches out. He'll be back pretty soon. Old Dolfino getting ready for the start of the 2 a.m. Allison Fu, lane two. Holbrow, Tyler, lane four. And that's Stephanie Paulus up in lane six. Medfield out to an early half body length lead at the turn. It is Holbrow, Medfield, Fu fighting for third. That is Tyler Holbrow looking strong, center of the pool, challenged by Medfield. It looks like it's going to be a two person race here as they head into the backstroke. Holbrow touches first. Great first 50 by Tyler Holbrow. Allison Fu looks good. Look for Fu to close on the breaststroke. She's a breaststroker. She's moved herself solidly in the third place. Hopefully she will challenge up top. That is Stephanie Kapalis holding on for fifth place, trying to move herself into fourth. All these points count. Medfield a much deeper team than Norwood was. Center of the pool, that is Tyler Holbrow getting ready with the body length feet, trying to take the turn in two. Breaststroke. Lane two, Allison Fu being challenged in lane five by Medfield. Holbrow opening up his lead. As Fu moves to her best stroke. Breaststroke. She should close the gap a little bit, see if she can catch up and pick up a little bit on Medfield. Up top, that is Stephanie Kapalis trying to move herself into fourth position. She's holding on to fifth right now. 
Tyler Holbrow in good shape in the center of the pool. He's got a four body length lead. He should cruise to victory. Fu with a great turn in lane two. Now she's closed and now has made up that distance. She is now past Medfield in lane three. Fu has moved into second place. Let's see if she's got enough in the freestyle to hold on. Tyler Holbrow cruising in the center of pool. In the pool, Allison Fu with a great turn. Let's see what she's got left. Medfield struck challenging. Looks like he may have it. Medfield's taking the turn. Fu just doesn't look like she's got enough left in the tank. She left it all out there on her breaststroke, but she's going to challenge for second. She takes the turn. Fu pushing hard and up top. That's also Stephanie Kapalis in the center of the pool. Tyler Holbrow has won easily. It's going to be Medfield. A nice showing by Allison Fu in lane two. And up top, we've got a race for fourth place. Let's see what Hopkinton Hopkins can, can do. Stephanie Kapalis closing, closing, closing. Does she have enough? She's almost pulled even. Let's see, folks. Let's see what we got. She is going to... Oh, that was close. Let's see how they judge that. That could be a tie. A great effort up top by Stephanie Kapalis. So Holbrow takes one, Fu takes three, and it looks like we've got uh, a pretty close call for fourth position. Medfield takes second, and either fourth or fifth. We'll see how the judges call it. We go now to the 50 free as the swimmers swim down. Great swim by the uh, sophomore, Tyler Holbrow. He had a great year last year as a freshman. Tyler looking to improve on that, that, uh, that, uh, that good first year, and he looks to be picking up right where he left off. Younger brother of senior captain, Zach Holbrow. Our captains this year on the men's side, Jack Brennan, Zach Holbrow, Connor Murchie, and the sidelined Il Dolfino. Colin Tyne. On the women's side, Abby Fisher and Brianna Taco are diver, both the captains. Hopkinton will have a lot of ground to make up going into next year. A lot of seniors on this team. Seven, seven men and, and ten ladies, so a lot to make up. But the season is still young. Our lineup for the 50 free is going to be lane two, Ansley Worrell, center of the pool, Alex Mastukas, and then up top, that's M.L. Burke, Mary Lauren Burke. So Hiller's swimming well thus far. See if we can start to get a, uh, a watch on this. Let's see what we got here. See if we can get some unofficial times. Get a sense of how the swimmers are swimming. 50 free. Don't blink, this will be over quickly. They are off. Ainsley Moore, lane two. Alex Metzikas in the center of the pool. Mary Lauren Burke is in lane six. Metsukas being challenged by Medfield going into the first turn. They are neck and neck, followed closely by Worrell and Mary Lauren Burke. That's Metsukas. Challenge, Metsukas, Medfield, Metsukas. Tough swim. Looks like Metsukas had it. And up top in third place, a great swim by Mary Lauren Burke. And touching fourth, that was Ainsley Worrell. Excellent swim by all the Hopkinton swimmers. Looks like Matsukas came in in around the 24 mid. Nice swim early on. We're gonna have two more heats of the uh, 50 free uh, for Hopkinton now on official. That's heat number two. This is Kevin Gu, Peter Farrell, and Connor Murchie. Actually, it looks like we're gonna have four heats. So this will be heat number two of four. Uh, in league meets like this, it is uh, it's a co-ed meet. You'll notice that you've got both men and women swimming together. Uh, that's the way the co-ed meets work. Um, at least one woman in each heat. And as you can see, is in the 50 free. Hopkinton puts out two. 
uh, two young ladies who swam very well, uh, taking first, third, and it looked like fourth. This heat will be uh, Kevin Gu, Pierce Farrell, and Connor Murchie, the Merch man, up in lane six. Try to get an unofficial time on this as well. Our thanks to the parents on deck helping out tonight. Clean start. Kevin Gu, lane two, Pierce Farrell, center of the pool, and that is Connor Murchie up top. Midfield out to a quick start, but Kevin Gu closing quickly. Nice turn even across. That is Gu and Medfield. Gu swimming well. Center of the pool also, that's Pierce Farrell. Gu's gonna win it going away. Nice swim by Kevin Gu on officially 27-43. Pierce Farrell and Connor Murchie both up there as well. Nice swims by the young swimmers. Kevin Gu. Freshman, I believe, freshman or sophomore. Freshman Kevin Goo takes heat number two. Heat number three will be in lane two, Deirdre Belger. Lane four, Olivia J. And Fletch the catch, Fletcher Clark up in lane six. So swimmer swim down, giving them all a little break. From time to time, we'll try to get a score in. We'll see what we can do to get the score. Uh, maybe we can get a score just before um, just before diving, which is going to come up right after the 53. So we've got lean or heat number three: Deirdre Belger, Olivia J, Fletch, the catch, Clark. Op continues. You can see on the other side of the pool. Roughly running about a 50 person roster. Big team, a lot of depth. Clean start. 53 is all about the start and the turn. Good start in lane two. That is Deidre Belger. Up top in lane six, Fletcher Clark. Center of the pool, that's Olivia J. It's Fletcher Clark out to an early lead. Fletch the catch. Lane six, lane two, that is Deidre Belger. Lane three, center of the pool, Olivia J. A lot of depth. Hopkinson's going to go one, two, three with Clark, Fletcher Clark, Olivia J. And Deidre Belger. Great swims across the board. Now, even though these are non scoring heats right now, the coach is getting a lot of data on, her, on his swimmers. This will be important at the league meet as well. Hopkinson generally has a great showing at the league meet, which is at the end, just before states and sectionals, sectionals and then states. The league meet is uh, bragging rights, even though you may have lost or won the uh, TVL league during the regular season, bragging rights at the TVL league championship meet. Last year, Hopkinton, who had taken second place after a dual meet, lost to Ashland uh, for their one loss during the season in the TVL. Um, walloped the competition at the TVL championship meet. Great showing, a lot of their depth. We're going to have one more heat. It's lane two, Mia Carboni, lane three, that's or lane four, Tori Fisher, and in lane five, that is uh, Ryan DeLeva. Unofficial time for these swimmers. Some of these swimmers are looking to put a good time down. Center of the middle of the pool. That's uh, Tori Fisher, but closest to us, Mia Carboni, comes out to a quick lead. Ryan DeLeva up top is challenging, so we've got Mia Carboni close to us in lane two. Up top, it's Ryan DeLeva. Tori Fisher, center of the pool in lane four. Looks like it's going to be Carboni. Mia Carboni coming in first. Ryan DeLeva coming in second. And third is Tori Fisher, unofficial time of 28.72 by... Mia Carboni. And that brings us to our first break before we get off to the diving. We will sign off, take a quick break. HCAM can do some of their business. 
take a quick break, sign off. We're going to get ready for the diving. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. And we are back. Going to get ready for the diving here. Looks like we've got Jack Brennan, Brianna Taco, Juliana Lucas, and Tess Weatherhead. Medfield looks like they're going to put uh, two or three divers out as well. Juliana Lucas. Medfield looks like they have two divers. Hopkinton putting five divers out. Juliana with the front one and a half of tight tuck. Should be a six, six and a half. Good looking dive by Juliana. A midfield's first diver. Four, four dive. Four and a half. Four and a half. In a tuck position. Four and a half across the board. Test weather at freshman diver. Had a good showing the other night. She's apparently been diving for quite some time. Oh, nice looking dive. That should get some seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half, six and a half, six and a half. Oof. I think she got, she got chipped on the six and a half, so it was a seven, seven and a half all day long. Nice looking dive. Another good looking dive should be seven, seven and a half Four, again. Seven, six and a half, seven. Yeah, there you go. Nice dive. Another midfield dive. Very nice looking dive. Nice, nice dive. Scoring update after the 50 free coming into the diving. Hopkinton leading midfield 31 to 14. Good showing in the first half. Jack Brennan. Great height. A little over on the, t on the entry. Six should five be. And half, five and a half, five and a half. Okay, five and a half. Next Try to try to spin a two Six somersault, a little short. Yeah. 
very nice. He's six, six and a half. Young man from Medfield. Forward one, a little forward on the entry. Fours, fives. Yeah. Test by the back up from the board. Nice. Two somersault, forward, tuck position. Four, six, seven, six. Nice, good scores. She's having a good diving season so far this year. Two meets, she's looked really strong. Great addition to the top, to the dive crew. You can see when you look across Hawkington's depth, as Brianna steps up to the board. Four, two somersault, same, probably Five and a half, six. Six and a half, six. Six and a half, nice. Inward dive into the pool. Swingers just lined up along the pool right now. Oh, very nice. Six, six and a half. Four, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half. There you go. <laughs> Announcers for this afternoon for the diving, Kate Legassi and Kayla McCann. Keeping our divers going. Jack Brennan steps up. Also having a good season diving. Captain. Captain Jack. Oh, very nice. One thing you notice about Jack's dives, he gets incredible height off the board. Great. Hopkins and Swimmer seem pleased with that one. Two and a half. Very nice. Yeah, Jack gets great height up off the board. A lot of leg strength. A little over on the entry, but nice dive. Four, five and a half, maybe five. Nice for her third dive. Very nice dive. Six and a half, sevens maybe. There you go. Very good looking dive. Field diver. Four, five, four and a half, six. third dive. Two and a half, really nicely done. That's going to be a six and a half or seven easy. Nice. 
good one and a half. Very nice dive as well. Tough, tough dive to get up off the board. Good scores by the judges. They liked it too. Third dive for the young man from Medfield. Oh, not the young man. This is the other diver. The older man. Having a good uh, a good run of it right now. Two nice dives thus far. Inward one and a half. Well done. Nicely executed. Tuck position. Six six and a half probably. Yeah, nice dive. He's going to be challenging for the lead. Strong, strong diver. Jack Brennan back on the board. Oh, very nice. A little bit over on the entry coming in. Get some points taken off of that. But a really good looking dive. Great height, good rotation. Those inwards, he gets way up in the air. Fourth dive. The Ford one in the open Four, position. Five and a half, six, five. Five and a half and six. Good looking dive. Here's the young man from midfield. Coach Jim Brainerd down there on the deck as one of the uh, judges, also coaches most of these kids as well as a couple of college teams. Yeah, it's been around for a long, long time. Great diving coach. Tess is up to the end of the board. Really good looking dive. Should be six and a half, sevens. Yeah. Great dive. Really nailed it. Good looking dive. Judges liked it. I think we're going to be seeing some nines and tens from her before the end of the year. with a twist. Nice looking dive. That should score well as well. Midfield diver. He's been diving well, so let's see how he does on this dive. Scored well on his last dive. Let's see what he's got. Good looking dive. Should score five, five and a half, sixes. Four, five and a half, four and a half, five. Yeah. A little short on the entry. Great height. Well, come in for that dive. Very vertical. Twist. A little 
A little open on the end, but a good looking dive. Came around, got it. Probably sixes. Yeah. Legs were a little open on the entry. That was his fifth dive. Reverse. A reverse. One in the tuck. Juliana Lucas. Nice dive. Layout, back one, five and a half. There you go. Julian <laughs> is diving well. Some good young divers from Hopkinton here. Go in this young lady, Tess Weatherhead. Out to the end of the board. She is very efficient as far as the diver. She just gets out there and goes. A lot of confidence in this young lady. A little short on the entry, but that should garner some good scores. Four, nice, uh, five and a half, five, five. just left a little bit short on the entry. So it just took off just a little bit, but she's diving well. Brown steps up on the board. Same thing, very efficient. a good looking dive. Should score well. Good score. Six and a half and sevens. It's a good looking dive. I think she thought she nailed it a little bit better than that. She did. I think she, she should have got scored a little higher there. I was thinking seven and a half. Midfield. See how this young man does. He's diving well. Completed dive. Lost a little bit of little control in the middle. Five and a half. Five. Yeah, I kind of agree a little bit with the five and a half five. He lost a little control in the middle of the dive. No, the two announcers are starting to laugh. They can't get those two pinwheeling. They'll be laughing for the rest of the day as Jack Brennan steps up. Kate and Kayla, kind of a tough. Oh, that's a good looking dive that she gets some sevens or maybe even an eight. Oh. I thought we would have got a little higher than that. That was a really good looking dive. Great height, good entry. Straight dive, back, half twist, Nicopolis, left dive. Four, four and a half, five, five. Four and a half, five and five for Nick. Good looking dive. The momentum carries him a little bit. Oh, this should be a nice looking dive. It's a back one and a half with a twist. See if Tess pulls this one off. Oh, nicely done. That should be at least a seven and a half. Four, seven, seven, six and a half. Oh, I think that jipped a little bit. Seven and a half all day long in my book. Brianna for her last. 
almost dive. Oh, good looking dive. Midfield swimmer with his last dive. Oh, just left a little bit short. Oh, that's too bad. He knows it. Four, five and a half, five, four and a half. Yeah, left a little short coming in. A great height, good looking dive, just left it a little Jack bit short. Jack Brennan for his last dive, and this will wrap it up. See what Jack can do. Get that board going. Oh, very nicely executed. Two somersault reverse, should be sixers or sevens. Nice. Okay, that's going to conclude the diving. We're going to take a quick break as the swimmers warm back up again. Right now we know after the 50 freestyle, Hopkinton is winning 31 to 14. We'll get a score update after the diving, and we will rejoin you after a quick break and get ourselves ready for the 100 fly. See you in a minute. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Back after the diving, we'll try to get a score. Pillars look good on the board as they normally do. Led by uh, senior co-captain uh, Jack Brennan, as well as uh, senior co-captain on the women's side, Brianna Taco on the diving board. We are getting ourselves ready for the 100 fly. Hopkinton will put three swimmers out there. We're going to look for uh, Abby Fisher in lane two, Aditya Duda in lane four, and Sophia Luce in lane six. A little bit of downtime here, and we have a score. After the diving, Hopkinton extended their lead, 55-21. My sense is Hopkinton may have swept, given the point difference. Medfield picks up seven points in the diving. Hopkinton looks like they may have swept. Sweep would have given them 13 points. So right now it looks like Hopkinton is up 55 to 21. We'll double check that. My math doesn't quite have it at that high, but we'll see. We might have been a little bit off coming off of the 53. Uh, so, but we'll keep you posted. As the scores come to the Uh, here's the results. Uh, 
Medfield takes fifth place. Wait for the results for just a moment. Unofficially, Nick. Juliana diving unofficially with a score of 209. It's a good score for an unofficial diver. Peter from Medfield in fourth place. Jack Brennan takes third with 222. Brianna Taco. It looks like in taking second place, and it looks like first place is going to go to the freshman. Tess Weatherard. Tess Weatherard takes first. Good showing tonight by the young diver. Very poised on the board. She looked good. So Hopkinton will get ready to go. Here we are for the 100 fly. As I said, we've got Abby Fisher in lane two, Aditya Duda. In lane four and up in lane six, that is Sophia Luce. Some of these young Hopkinton swimmers contributing early on. It's the 100 fly. Let's see if we can get an official time here. Senator Paul Dietrich Duder, Abby Fisher. Lane two, Sophia Luce up top. Duda out to a quick lead. Half a body length at the turn. Dietrich Duda takes a turn. Abby Fisher straight across the pool for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. As Duda opens up his lead to a body length and a half. Medfield just behind. Up top, that's Sophia Luce. She's pushing for third. Duda opens it up. Luce pressing for second. Fisher, same. Medfield right now sitting in second place. Abby Fisher starts to press. She's going to catch him. Abby Fisher, she's going to catch Medfield at the turn. Loose May as well. At the turn, we are three across, basically, for second place. Duda coming in. He's got a body. He's got the half a pool length lead. Let's see unofficially what he swims at. Comes in at a 104. Abby Fisher takes over. She's going to take second. Sophia Luce, she's pressing up top. Let's see if she can get it. Fisher. Luce takes fourth. Great showing by Hopkinton. Just extending their lead. Pillars look good in the early, uh, in the early going here. So 104 unofficially for Dietje Duda. Take a look, though. It's early in the season. We'll look and see what our qualifying times for sectionals and states are. In the 100 butterfly, boys state division, we're looking for a 58. He's got his work cut out for him. A little bit of ground to make up. Six seconds, though. He can do that. Swimmer swim down. We're going to get ourselves ready for the reset in the 100 fly. 100 fly, or I'm sorry, the 100 free. Ansley Worrell in lane two. We're going to have Alex Matsukas in lane four. And the Merch man, Connor Murchie, up in, Connor Murchie up in lane six. The Merch. Alex Matsukas had a great year last year swimming as well. Alex in his uh, junior year. Joins a couple other junior men. Ritesh Rajanigan, Andrew DeLever, and Fletch the Clutch. The catch Clark as they step up for the 100. We'll get an unofficial clock on this as well. They are off. Clean start. That is Ansley World closest to us. 
Matsukis jumps out to a quick lead off the start. Looking strong. Matsukis, center of the pool, followed by Worrell in lean two. Matsukis, half a body length lead. Medfield right now holding second and third. As Worrell presses, Connor Murch pulling up, trying to move himself into fifth position. Matsukis at the turn in the 26. He's trying to go low 50s. See what he's got. Ansley Worrell trying to move herself up, trying to challenge for third position. It's all Matsukis all day long. Let's see what Ansley Worrell can do and if Connor Murch can get himself in the fifth. Matsukis coming in. He's going to be in at roughly a 54 low. That is Medfield, Medfield, Abby Fisher takes fourth. Connor Murch will end up in sixth place up in the sixth lane. So 54 low by Matsukis. He might have even broken 54. He looked good, the young man. Good sprint freestyler. We're going to move into a second heat for the uh, 100 free. We have uh, Aya Baba in lane two. We've got Sean Haley in lane four. We've got Kayla McCann up in lane six. As the swimmers get themselves ready. for heat number two, Baba Haley McCann. Swimmers are out of the pool. Referee gets us ready. Let's see if we can get an unofficial time. Medfield will put swimmers in leans one, three, and five as well. Nice night here at uh, Keith Tech. 50 degrees out. Even though it's the middle of December, it does not feel like it, actually. All right, it looks like it's just Hopkinton. Just Hopkinton putting the swimmers out. So that is Baba, Haley, and McCann. A Baba in lane two. Sean Haley in lane four. Kayla McCann in lane six. Out early in the center of the pool is Sean Haley. Up top is Kayla McCann. Lane two, Ayababa. Haley takes the turn at 28 and change. McCann at a 30 point. Baba, 33. Sean Haley pressing. Pushing hard. Let's see if he's got anything left in the tank. See what he can do coming back. Kayla McCann's got a nice swim going up top in lane six. Let's see if we can get ourselves a couple of uh, times here. That is Haley in it. One double O. McCann. She comes in a 107. And that is Baba coming in at a 115. So unofficially, 100, 107, and a 115. Now we're going to get ourselves ready, I believe, for the 500. The grueling race that it is, the 520 laps of pool. If you have to go to the bathroom or if you have to get something to eat, now is the time to do it. This race is going to take about five and a half to six minutes, if not a little bit longer. For Hopkinton, we've got Blake Briner in lane two, Zach Holbrow in lane four, and Kate Legassi in lane six. 500 freestyle record on the women's side. Was... Uh, Let's see, 500 was set by Megan Farrell back in 2003. That record's been around for a while, 505. Kevin Legassi holds that record for 456. And we've got a watch on this as well. So, closest to us, that is Blake 
Greiner, Zach Holbrow in the center of the pool, Kate Legassi up top. Medfield counters with swimmers in lanes one, three, and five. Closest to us, Blake Greiner, Zach Holbrow. Medfield challenging. Medfield's always been a good distance swimming school, so we'll see how they fare tonight. Always tend to have some good distance swimmers. They've been doing that for a long time. Lane two holding a slight lead. That's uh, Blake Reiner. They're bunched pretty closely to midfield holding second. That is um, Zach Holbrow. Look for him though to pick it up. So Reiner, Holbrow. Four right across, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Kate Legassi up in lane six. She is holding fifth place. Looking to get some points here. Briner still holding at the turn, followed by Medfield, Zach Holbrow, and Medfield. Kate Legassi in fifth, Holbrow making a move. Briner a half a body length in lane two. Holbrow moving up on Medfield in lane three. Trying to pull it even with the turn. Swimmers have done six laps. Reiner, nice stroke, nice long, gentle stroke. Good pull through. Whole brow. This is his race. He's actually a good uh, 500 swimmer. Kate Legassi in lane six. Right now holding on to fifth place. Reiner. Still in lane two, half a body length lead. Medfield, lane three, right behind him. Holbrow, right behind her. He's got almost three across right now. And then Medfield holding fourth place, dropping off just a little bit. Reiner in lane two, Medfield lane three, Holbrow in lane four. They're nearly straight across and we are halfway through the race. Good showing by all three swimmers. Medfield is in fourth. Kate Legassi holding on to fifth place. At the turn, Briner, Medfield, Holbrook, all straight across, Holbrow. Looking to make his move. They are neck and neck. Briner dropping off just a little bit. Medfield makes a move in the center of the pool. Their swimmer pulling ahead. She's taking a body, half a body length lead, full body length lead. Quick sprint by the Medfield swimmer. Let's see who follows in the chase. Colbrow digging in. He's going to try to stay with her. Briner falling off just a little bit in lane two, but he's hanging in there. Kate Legassi up in lane six, holding on to fifth place. Medfield's opening up a little bit more of a lead, although Holbrow is staying with her on the chase. Zach Holbrow staying with her. He's going to hold on. Now, Zach Holbrow's got a great kick, so we'll see as they turn their 14th lap. He can stay with her. Blake Briner, he's hanging in there. Kate Legassi up top. She's holding on to fifth place. Zach Holbrow fighting for second place. He's trying to press on first. And Blake Briner in lane two. Trying to pull back up again. Blake was, a, was the pace setter. Now Holbrow's pulled even. He's digging hard. He's a gutsy swimmer in the 500. These guys are turning. They've got 100 left after this turn. Four laps left to go. Holbrook, he has pulled even. Briner still holding on to third. It's going to be a race in the center of the pool between Medfield and Zach Holbrow. They've got 100 left. 100 yards left in this race. They take the turn on the 17th lap. Feel the bell lap pretty soon. Holbrook, Holbrow pushing hard. Senior captain Zach Holbrow in the center of the pool. Got to swim right now, being challenged by Medfield. It's the bell lap. Holbrook will take the turn with a half a body length. 
Brighter in lean two. He's holding on. Holbrook, Holbrow's got, he's got a kick. Let's see what he can do. He's being challenged by Medfield in lean three. You can hear the crowd. This is it, folks. Final turn, 25 yards left to go. Let's see what he's got. Takes a turn, he's got a body length. He's pulling away. He's gonna be challenged, but she will not have enough to catch him. Zach Holbrow pushing, sprinting. He's gonna take it by a full body length in a time of 5.42. Great swim by Zach Holbrow, senior captain. Second place, Medfield. Blake Briner with a great showing as well. Dropped off a little bit in lane two. But he's swimming well, he's being challenged. He's being challenged. Touches out the Medfield swimmer in lane two for third place. He was being pressed up top in lane five. Medfield takes two and four. Hawkington takes one, three. Kate Legassi got a little race on her hands. She's got a half of uh, half a length lead. No, nope, she's got a length and a half lead. So she's okay, she should take fifth. As she turns, see if she's got a little sprint left in her. Up top in lane six is Kate Legassi. She's going to take fifth place. Throwing some points to the Hillers. Good strong swim up top by Kate Legassi. One final turn by Medfield. He's got a 50 left to go in lane one. So the swimmers are going to relax just a little bit. We've got the crowd cheering on the Medford swimmer, Medfield swimmer in lane one. So Zach Holbrow officially in a 542, taking first. Blake Reiner takes third. Kate Legassi takes fifth, a 135 for Hopkinton. Center, uh, first lane here. Medfield finishing up with their final swimmer. To the cheers of the crowd. We get a pretty big crowd here tonight. We've got a couple of swimmers from Hopkinton Pass that are coming. Uh, senior captain from last year floating around. On the boys' side and the final touch by uh, Medfield. That 500 free is going to give way to the 200 free relay. Hopkinton puts three teams out in lean two. We've got Cassie White, Ansley Worrell, Grace Cavanaugh, Abby Fisher. Then we've got Tyler Fallon, Abby Fisher, Ditcha Duda, and Alex Matsukas. And up top, we've got Sam Cody, Ray Lucas, the Foo Fighter, Allison Foo, and Peyton Salyards. 200 free relay. And we will have two heats of the two free relay as well. Second heat coming right behind us. So Hopkinton and Leans, two, four, and six. It's been a good meet so far. Hopkinton looks good in their first two TVL meets. Swimming well tonight. Their diving has been spectacular. Uh, swept the other night against Norton. They swept again tonight, led by freshman Tass Weather. 200 free relay, get ready to start. First swimmers, Cavanaugh, Zach Holbrow, Keith Legassi. All right, so I can't believe that Zach Holbrow leading off Oh, no, I'm sorry. I got the four free relay. We've got Cassie White. We've got Tyler Fallon. And we've got Sam Cody. I was going to say, that's a quick turnaround, even though it's the two free relay. Each swimmer swimming two lengths of the pool. 50 each. Center of the pool, Tyler Fallon. Lane two, Cassie White. There, three across. And up top, that's Sam Cody. Next swimmer's in. Center of the pool, Alyssa Fisher, Ainsley Worrell. Up top, that's Ray Lucas. Hopkinton going one, two. That's Worrell, Fisher, Ray Lucas up top, closing the gap. Fisher, Worrell, Ansley Worrell lean two. Alyssa Fisher, she's in lean four. Fisher, two body length lead. 
Hopkinton, 1-2 right now. Next swimmer's in the water. Grace Cavanaugh, lane two. Lane four, that's Aditya Duda. He's out in front. Good start, and up top, that Ray Lucas closed the gap. He just turned over to Allison Fu, the Fu fighter. Medfield pressing in the center of the pool. Hopkinton's got a two-body length lead. That's Aditya Duda, Grace Cavanaugh in lanes two and four. Duda in the center of the pool at four. He's gonna hand off to Alex Matsukas, and I don't think anybody's gonna catch him in lane two. That's Abby Fisher. Let's see if Hopkinton can go one, two. Medfield puts their sprinter into the water. He's in lane four, in lane three, center of the pool. He's caught Fisher at the turn. Let's see if she can hold on, Abby Fisher. Cruising in the center of the pool is Alex Matsukas. It looks like Medfield's gonna take second place as Fisher's been overcome. She'll take third, and up top, that is Peyton Salyards after the Foo Fighter. Did quite a job, Ray Lucas closing the gap. So it's Hopkinton, one and three and four. Medfield takes second. Hopkinton extending their lead. After the 500, Hopkinton 85, Medfield 39. I'll have to double check these scores. But right now, unofficially, we're at 85 to 39. We're going to run a second heat of the 200 free relay. Heat number two. That's going to include in lane two Leah Patrick, Olivia J, Kaylee Colhane, Victoria Fisher. In lane four, it's going to be Yaming Fang, Aya Baba, Beatrice Bonacher and Carolina Russman. In lane six, that'll be Mia Carboni, Pierce Farrell, Kevin Gu, and Connor Murchie. It's Hopkinton sets. Good meet thus far tonight. Pillars look pretty strong. Second year coach, Jeff Libby, leading the Hillers. Big follow-up to his first year. Jeff was coach of the year. They are off. Center of the pool, Yuming Fang, who closest to us, Leah Patrick, takes an early lead off the start. And up top, that is Mia Carboni. So it's Carboni in lane six, Patrick in lane two, Fang in lane, uh, lane uh, four. So two, four, six. Up top six, that is Mia Carboni, Carboni. Body length lead over Fang and Patrick. She's going to turn it over to Pierce Farrell. Farrell's in the water in lane six. Baba in the center of the pool and Olivia J in lane two. It's J in lane two challenging Farrell in lane six. Baba in the center of the pool, lane four, holding steady in third. Body length lead up top for Pierce Farrell over Olivia J in lane two. Center of the pool, that's a Baba. Farrell, Farrell getting ready to turn off the freshman Kevin Gu. Gu hits the water, clean start. Second lean, that's Jay. She's gonna turn over to Kelly Colleen. It's Gu up top, and then in the center of the pool, that's Breach's Boncher. Gu up top, lean six, opening up the lead. Boncher in the center of the pool, as well as Colleen in lean two. So it's Hopkinton. Right now, cruising up in lane six. He's going to turn it over good to, to Connor Murchie. Closest to us, Kelly Cohen. She's going to give it over to Victoria Fisher as the Murch man hits the water. Fisher, lane two, and that is Russman. It's going to go in in the center of the pool. The Murch man cruising up in lane six. Lane six opened up a good, nice lead. It was Carboni, Farrell, and Goo, the Murch man. And then closest to us, Victoria Fisher. Carolina Russman as Merch comes in ahead of the pack. No time on that. And that's going to be Victoria Fisher, lean two, coming in second. And holding on in the center of the pool, Carolina Russman. They are going to take third. Hopkinton looking great across the board right now. A lot of depth. As I was saying, second year coach Jeff Fisher 
A big act of follow from last year's Fisher, or as uh, Libby rather, Jeff, Jeff Libby, Jeff Fisher, <laughs> ex NFL coach, Jeff Libby, yeah, Fisher on the brain. That's Jeff Libby, rather, with a with a lot to follow up from last year. Coach of the year in the TVL, they took second and then dominated at the TVL league meet, winning that over Ashland. They'll be tested early on, and it will be probably uh, a little telling uh, to see how they, how they fare against Ashland. Right now, they are in pretty good stead against Medfield as we line ourselves up for the 100 back. This meet looks like it is in hand, although we never like to say that too early. 100 backstroke is going to see Andrew DeLever in lean one. Mary Lauren Burke, ML Burke, is going to be in lean four. And Tyler Fallon is going to be up top in lean six. Coach mixing up the lineup tonight, trying to see what all of his swimmers have. Raj, looks like we're going to see Ritesh in the uh, 100 breaststroke tonight. Yeah. Coach getting some time from a bunch of different swimmers. But before we get to the 100 breast, we're going to have the 100 backstroke. So that's the leva. Andrew, the older brother of Ryan, ML Burke in the center of the pool, and Tyler Fallon up top. <coughs> As Medfield will counter in leans one, three, and five. So a lot of swimming in the next several weeks as this season is well underway. Second TVL meet, Hopkinton currently 1-0 in the TVL as they set for the 100 backstroke. Clean start, they are off. Center of the pool, ML Burke. That's Angel's 11, lean two, but up top, Tyler Fallon out to an early lead. Tyler Fallon, ML Burke at the turn. Angel DeLeva close as Hopkinton, one, two, and three. DeLeva battling for third. Medway, Medfield is moving up. ML Burke's holding a body length lead. Tyler Fallon up top looking pretty strong in lean six. Good turn by Fallon. Tyler Fallon, Mary Lauren Burke. Angel DeLeva with a good turn. He's grinding. Lean two. DeLeva grinding, trying to move himself into third position. Coming on strong as Burke takes the turn in first. Fallon in second. DeLeva has now pulled back into third. After dropping off, he is grinding and kicking hard. Cheered on by his teammates. Mary Lauren Burke, center of the pool. She looks like she's going to cruise the victory. Being challenged by Tyler Fallon. He wants it. Burke, Fallon, and DeLeva sweep the 100 backstroke. Andrew DeLeva, gutsy swim in lean two. Off to a good start. He had lost a little ground in the middle of the race and then picked it back up. Real gutsy swim. Mary Lauren Burke looked good in the center of the pool. And Tyler Fallon. Lane six, freshman, good looking swim up top. One, two, three, Hopkinton has just uh, closed the chapter, I think, on Medfield tonight. We head into the 100 breast. It is all but uh, a formality at this point with two races left to go. We get the 100 breaststroke and the 400 free relay. Breaststroke's gonna see Sierra Slussel in the fin lane uh, two. Ritesh Rajanigan is going to be in lane four, and Deidre Belger, she is going to be up in lane six. The Hillers have put this one to bed. Yeah, 95 to 43 after the two free relay. Hopkinton has enough points for the win. Has enough points for the win. On a breaststroke. One of the oldest records in the record book set years ago by Coach Terry's son, Sean. As the breaststrokers get out there. Uh oh. That's lean one. As he gets himself out of the pool. Just saying, Sean Terry back in 2005, 59 88 to go sub one. In high school, in the 100 breaststroke is something else. 
Get yourself down to the low ones. Great start by Medfield in the middle of the pool as he runs out to a quick, quick start in lean three. We've got Sierra Schlissel in lean two, Ritesh Rajanigan, Deidre Belger. That's Rajanigan challenging. Medfield's got a couple of good breaststrokers. They are out in the center of the pool in lean three. Ritesh Rajanigan pressing. Sierra Schlissel in lean two. Ritesh Rajanigan trying to pull himself into second place. Quick stroke, quick turnover. He's going to start pressing against one. Ritesh Rajanigan, great second, second lap. Good pull out. Medfield right now is ahead in lean three. Ritesh Rajanigan in a battle for second place. And then it's straight across the pool for third. She has Schlissel in two. And that's Deidre Belger up in lean six. Ritesh Rajanigan looking to turn at the second position, and he does. Good pull out here and a sprint to the finish. Medfield looks like they're going to win it. It's a battle for second place and third place right now. Rajanigan, Medfield, let's see what he's got left. He's quicking in the stroke and pulling. Looks like he's going to fall off just a little bit. Medfield's going to go one, two. Ritesh Rajanigan takes three. Sierra Schlissel, she's going to push to try to get third. And up top, that's Deirdre Belger, fourth rather. It is Schlussel, Belger taking fifth. So Medfield for the first time tonight goes 1-2. Their uh, wins have been few and far between, but they go 1-2 in the 100 breaststroke. Ritesh Rajanigan takes third. Sierra Schlussel takes fourth, and Deidre Belger takes fifth. So 2-3, three, or 3-4-5. Three, and now we are down to the final race of the evening, the 400 free relay. No rest for the weary here. As we announce in lane two, Grace Cavanaugh, Blake Reiner, Peyton Salyards, and Ritesh Rajanigan. That's going to be a quick turnaround for Ritesh. Then we've got the Holbrow brothers, Zach leading off, followed by Tyler, Abby Fisher, and Alex Matsukas. A strong relay in the center of the pool. Leading off in lane six, Kate Legassi, Sean Haley, Stephanie Kapalis, and Andrew DeLeva. So let's see what these swimmers got. We'll do some unofficial times here. But that is not Kate Legassi in lane six. I don't know what she looks like. It looks like coaches kind of shifted them up a little bit. All right, so this is going to be a complete and total guessing game. So I have no idea who's out there right now. Uh, we'll see who I can pick out of the crowd here. Uh, but this will be a kind of interesting. Lane six. The unknown, the unknown swimmers up in lane six. Okay. I think we've got, no, I don't even know who's in the center of the pool. All right, so it looks like Coach is doing is he's trying to get some times right now. They are off. This coach in lane two has got an all-male relay they're not going to be able to score officially because there's no woman swimming in that so he's going for a time in lane two so my guess is in lane two he's got zach holbrow tyler holbrow alex metzucas and uh looks like it's andrew deleva up in lane six as they take the turn so hopkinton is not official in lane two as they will kind of cruise. In the center of the pool, that's Medfield up in lane six. They will be swimming officially, but I have no idea who's in that, who's in that relay. So we'll see how it goes. But it looks like we've got uh, a time trial here for the boys in uh, lane two. As uh, Zach Holbrow looks like he's going to turn it over to Tyler Holbrow. And he does. Up top, though, officially, that is Hopkinton in lane six. I believe that might be Ray Lucas up in lane six in the water now. No idea though. Center of the pool, couldn't tell you. Or it could be Sean Haley somewhere in there. Blake Briner actually could be up top. No clue. You got any ideas there, Raj? I got no idea who's in the water. Nope. Actually, who's going to anchor for the boys? Is that Aditya? That's Aditya, I think. That's not Ritesh, is it? Lane uh, two? 
the looks like a detour. the anchor is the last one. Yeah. Yeah, that is it. That's Ritesh. Okay, so we've got uh, uh, in lane two, we've got Ritesh Vajanigan. As again, coach is putting a group out for time trials. Getting some swims in. I wish I could tell you who's in the water. I have no idea. But up top in lane six, they are official. That's Hopkinton in the lead. Lane two, the boys are swimming well. That's Andrew DeLeva in the water. Not sure who's swimming up in lane six. Lane six has taken over into 11 lane two. Before we hand over to the anchor lead and the anchor swimmers. That field's dropped off a little bit in the center of the pool in lane three. As the anchor swimmers step up, Ritesh Rosanigan is in lane two. He's going to take over from. Andrew DeLeva, and I don't know who is swimming up top for the girls. But they are in the water. Two anchor swimmers are in the water. Hopkinton's third anchor is up. Trying to figure out who these guys are. I don't know if that's Alex. Could be Alex, but circus in the center of the pool. Or that's one of the whole brows. That could be Zach in the center of the pool. Hard to tell. All we know is we got Ritesh Rosanigan in lane two. He looks strong. Good turn. Lane six up top. Hopkinton center of the pool. Could be Matt Sukas. Could be Holbrow. Could be anyone. Last race of the night. I love when coach does this to me. I do not know the kids well enough. He's got me all messed up tonight. But that's okay, though. Good swims. That's the test for Jonigan finishing up. Up top in lane six. That is the unknown swimmer. And coming in in the center of the pool. That could be a number of people. I'll try to remember everybody's uh, strokes so we can figure out. Hopkinson goes one, two, three. It was just sort of a matter of formality as they've always already won the meet. Good showing by Medfield tonight. Hopkinton just uh, a little too deep for them, a little too strong. Uh, good swims all across the board. A great show on the diving board tonight, led by freshman Tess Weatherhead. Uh, good showing, Captain Brianna Taco and uh, Jack Brennan as well on the board. So uh, Hopkinton looks good as Medfield brings her final swimmer in. Good look at me tonight. We will uh, await a score, but this is um, all Hopkinton. And uh, that will push them to 2-0 and in the TVL League as uh, Jeff Libby, uh, second-year head coach, along with Karen Terry and Coach Jim Brainerd, uh, take the Hopkinton squad next Saturday night. If you're not doing anything, we're going to be back here at Keefe Tech. That meet will start at... I'll tell you. I think it's five o'clock again, but let's find out. It is an uh let's see. It is another five o'clock meet next Saturday night. If you have a chance, come on down. That'll be against Ashland. We will be video and videotaping that as well. So teams mill around just a little bit. Why don't we take a quick break and then we'll come back in a couple of minutes with final score? A couple of team cheers, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll be back in a minute. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. See what Hopkinton's got tonight. Ninety-one seventy-eight. Hopkinton with a victory. Two and on the TVL. Let's see what we got for cheers tonight. All 
right, we went with potato chip. Let's see what Medfield's got. Potato chip, potato chip, munch, munch, munch. Who do we think is a really good bunch? Medfield. Let's see what Medfield's got for Hopkinton. Taking some pictures here. Try to get a little team picture going. Coach is taking a picture. I don't think they know we're waiting for them to do their cheer yet. <laughs> My thanks to the parents out on deck tonight, volunteers. My thanks to Raj Rajanigan up in the booth tonight. On uh, camera, also wearing a headset. All right, toothpaste, toothpaste. We use Crest. We think Hopkinton is the best. Final cheers for tonight. So final score, Hopkinton 91. Medfield 73. We will be back here as the teams shake hands and pass those cold germs around to one another. We will be back here again next Saturday night. If you got nothing to do, come on down as we go into the holiday season. Hopkinton will take on crosstown rival Ashland in what should be and could be a showdown for the TVL. Hopkinton enters will enter that meet 2 and 0 oh on the season. Second year coach Jeff Libby guiding his team to two wins thus far in the TVL. Hopkinton looks pretty strong. They're going to definitely be challenged by Ashland. A perennial favorite, Hopkinton and Ashland, each year in the TVL. So, for Kevin Legassi, Roger John again. You want to say good night, Raj? Uh, thank you, everyone. Just say good night. Have a good day. There you go. All right. We will see you next week. Hopkinton Swim and Dive with a win over Medfield. And that's it for us. <laughs>